she wrote. All right, I want to tell a story about the first three dogs I ever had in my life. My first dog I got when I was six years old. It was a mutt, a mixed breed. And one day, my mother sent me to the store. The dog and I walked to the store on a busy city street. Now, I don't know who sends their kid and their dog on a busy city street to the store, but we this was 1956, and I guess we didn't care about kids and dogs back then, but we went to the store, and the dog got hit by a car. And it was sad, the dog was writhing in pain, and a crowd gathered, and I'm just a six-year-old kid, oh my God, my dog is dying, and people gathered, and the dog died, and somehow I got home and had nightmares about this for the next few years, and so that was my first dog. About two years later, my parents brought home a cute little uh, lab mix kind of dog, and um, we named that dog Mike, and I love Mike, and um, I guess we let our dogs run loose back then. This was 1958, and the dog's running loose. One day, the dog disappears, and of course, I'm out in the streets calling, Mike, Mike, come home, Mike, and the dog's disappeared. So, you know, I guess most parents would have said to their little eight-year-old kid, oh, the dog's gone to a farm and it's playing in the sunshine with the animals. And, but my parents, who were very um, practical and no-nonsense New England parents, said, we heard that there were dog snatchers in town that are taking dogs and selling them to Harvard Medical School. Wow. And doing experiments on these dogs. So I had more nightmares for a couple of years of my poor dog Mike up this road at Harvard Medical School being experimented on. A couple of years later, my parents got me another dog. And we named this little dog Patsy. And this was another mixed breed kind of border collie dog. And by then we had moved to a little country town, a little farming community. And I didn't have many friends, so this dog was really my best friend. Um, I dressed it up in little outfits. I taught it to climb a ladder. It could actually climb a ladder up to the roof of the house. <laughs> this is pretty strange. And um, I play ball with it. I'd toss it a ball and it would catch it and it would toss it back to me. And this was my best friend. Well, one day the dog got sick and wasn't eating and had urine, had blood in its urine. And so it went off to the vet and it died of a kidney stone. And I was, de <laughs> I was devastated. But the good news is somehow the vet gave my parents the kidney stone. It was a stone about this big. <laughs> Literally, I kept in my jewelry, jewelry box till I swear I was 18 years old, feeling and, you know, reminiscing, feeling this uh, kidney stone, reminiscing about this dog. <laughs> a strange life here. Um, so anyway, I guess the point of the story is we weren't very good dog owners. We lost three dogs in six years. The irony is now here in Asheville, I'm a pet sitter, dog water pet, dog walker pet sitter, and I, I think I really can take good care of your dog and make sure it doesn't get hit by a car, doesn't get stolen by Harvard Medical School, or <laughs> doesn't, doesn't get a kidney stone. So that's my story.